What is up everyone, it's Ventron Ruby and today I am actually going to talk about a little, you could say this is a little vlog or a day life jour journal you could say, I, I don't know what you want to call it but anyway I'm just going to talk about something that happened yesterday because it's uh, probably the most, uh, what's the word, most uh, exhausting day of for the, of the entire summer since I came here to the west side of Norway to work in my summer job which some of you already know about so yeah without further ado I'm just gonna jump right into it and and also what this is uh, today is Saturday so yeah you know this is uh, yeah for, for future me to know anyway so yesterday I was on my way to work my work starts about 9.15 a.m. And it's it's really early if you guys don't know like just talking time zones here. And for that I had to wake up about seven seven o'clock a.m. and I had to prepare myself. I usually put up two alarms just in case I don't wake up. Um, and as as always I get really tired, so I was like, oh my god, it's work. And even though I had been used to doing this the same way for three days in a row now. Uh, anyway, so I prepare myself, go up. Eat, eat all the food and well there I go to the store so it's like the store opens at 10 a.m. but I have to be there really early to start up the machines and start up uh, the computers or not computers but the um, yeah machines just basically machines I just have to start up everything turn on the lights and all that and uh, which is actually what I'm doing right now to be honest I'm actually at work right now and I'm doing the same thing but anyway back to the thing and uh, so yeah, so anyway, I'm uh, working. It's re it's raining a lot, which makes me think that it's it's like night time. So it feels like this kind of makes me feel like the time is going really really slow because the last two days before that, uh, things have gotten gone really smoothly. Like it feels like things were going really fast. I usually just sat there when no one was there, w watched my phone. And then uh, time went really fast. But yesterday, it felt like I was sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. Almost did nothing except make some uh, some hamburgers and pizzas. And it's basically the same thing as usual. But it felt like it went really slow. So I don't know why that happened. Maybe because I felt uh, a bit bored or um, I don't know, something. So, okay. So then comes this customer. This customer has been there coming for like some days before this because he was going to... Uh, uh, but uh, I don't know what, what you call it in English or in the US or UK, but uh, you basically just bet with um, money to earn money, not, not like poker, but like just le legally, you know. So yeah, he uh, asked me to do something, and well, the first day, the first time I met him, but I didn't know exactly how to do it because remember, I'm kind of new at this, I'm not exactly uh, full fledged in all this, and he's like, oh, okay. Um, so do you is there is the boss here? Maybe he knows how to do it, and you're you're you might not be as good as him. Like at that time, at that time he was kind of a nice when saying that. But I said I kind of knew what he was trying to say. Like he was trying to point out the fact that I was really bad at my work. So uh, I didn't care. Like I didn't yell at him or something like that. I just uh, was like, I'm sorry, no, he's not here. Like my boss just put me puts me on work because he does anything else I don't know why he, why he's doing he just, just says okay I'll be back in 10 minutes and uh, seven hours later when my work's done he's not back so I don't know what he's doing but he's doing something anyway so uh, he ends up the old man gets uh, ends up being a little mad and just say okay I'm just gonna go to another place then he goes and then next time he appears which was yesterday no no uh, it was the day before that uh, he actually, I'm not kidding, I, he, he, just, he asked me to do the same thing again, and I failed because I didn't know what to do, and, uh, well, there's actually a funny thing about that, but I'll get back to that. Uh, he actually said, because I failed, that you should not work here, and I was really, mad. I was kind of mad at him for saying like that, because, well, mostly because there were actually customers right behind him, listening, hearing, to that, hearing what he said, and I was like, is he trying to like roast me in front of all these people? Why is he trying to be so mad? This guy's an old man. He is, and he is trying to roast a, like an uh, employer at this shop. Why is he doing that? No idea why. But uh, uh, it ends up with him leaving again. Or he, well, the things. 
he ends up be accepting the things I made for him, uh, the, way, the way I deal with it. It wasn't exactly like he wanted, but he dealt with it and just took it and went. The next day after, this is what this is uh, what happened yesterday. Like this was kind of the build up. Sorry, it takes like I don't know, three minutes. The next day after that, yesterday, uh, he comes back. He's like the first customer to come, and uh, my brother, who is the boss, I was actually going to try to keep that a secret, but uh, well, now I failed at that. Anyway, the boss is my secret. The, the boss is my brother. Anyway, he's there, and he's. Um, like, uh, I knew this old man, like, I recognized him and all that, so I was like, uh, hey, brother, you might come here, take this one, and he's like, the old man is even agreeing for that, he's even, like, totally agreeing, like, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, could he come? Yeah, thanks. And then, he actually talks to my brother about, like, he and my brother is kind of uh, acquaintances in some ways, like, uh, they meet every day, or mostly out on the work, so maybe they know each other in some way, I don't know. But, uh, so he talks to my brother about how how he tried to do something, uh, how he tried to do the play the lotto, or the uh, the betting game with me, or how he, he tried to play it. I know they had to say it, but yeah. He tells me about that, and uh, he says, oh, I did, I did everything correct with this, I, I scratched, scratched off here, or scratched off here, and then he's supposed to scan it and make sure I can play it at the... Uh, Let's see, now it was uh, Saturday, Sunday, and, well, the middle is what he said on the computer, which uh, I guess is Wednesday. But, uh, so, anyway, it uh, leads to the uh, boss, uh, I'm just going to call him the boss, uh, saying that you can't play all three at once. He wanted to play all three at once, but he, he couldn't. He could only play one. And uh, the reason he thought he could do play all is because he had done it on a different place. I don't remember know what place that was, but anyway, he could play all three. And that leads to him realizing how much he uh, screwed up, thought he, I was doing things wrong. And I, I was getting a little happy. I was like, okay, I didn't do anything wrong. However, I was kind of wrong, or I wasn't wrong. But I mean, what I mean is like, uh, if I was uh, smart, I would have known that, that he couldn't have done it. But I didn't know that. So it leads to him apologizing for me, and I was like, really? I, I don't know why, but when he said, uh, when he was apologizing, I was, that's when I when I got mad. I don't know why. I don't know, he apologized and I got mad? He said a whole lot of bad things to me, like, before that, and I, I didn't get mad at him. I was like, okay, I, I can understand this guy and all, but then I got mad at him? I don't know, something's wrong with me. I, I, I have no idea what that happened, why that happened to me. So anyway, yeah, at least uh, I was like, uh -huh, yeah, thanks, uh, apology accepted. But I was really like skeptical in my voice. I was, in some way, I was doing it on purpose because I felt really mad at him. I just want to, uh, I, I don't know, spit at him, spit at him, say go and never come back, and well, yeah, that. But I'm not that kind of guy, so I was like, just said thanks and you know, just went back. I didn't want to see him, didn't want to talk to him, and I honestly, I don't, I hope I don't get to see him again. So anyway. That's what happened. That's one of the things that happened yesterday. So uh, after that, I just worked like I'm going to do today. Just sitting there making pizza, hamburgers, uh, ice cream, and all that, all that stuff. Um, it feels like time is going really, really, really slowly. Uh, there was also this one customer that came in. I was like, yeah, having had had to make burgers with fries and coke. I was back there a whole lot, and two customers came in. And remember, I also was working alone, so uh, I had to take customers at the same time making uh, burgers because I had to keep watching if the burgers get over, uh, over not over cooked, but over mm, yeah, if it gets too warm or something like that. I know something between those lines. Anyway, um. So I go to the customer, he's asking for a hamburger as well, and I was like, oh my god, in me. And he's like, uh, 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 let's see now, what do you guys have a hamburger? And I point to the sign we have up above, and I, he, he had glasses, by the way, and he said, like, later after something that he couldn't see well. And I was, like, just pointing to the sign, I see it there, and it's like, yeah, what do you guys have? And I'm like, I get, I'm getting really angry, and I had been, like, stressed out and all that, and I got... I flipped out a little bit and I said, it's then, it says right there. And I was like, I raised my voice, I got a little angry and I was like, my god, wow, what is wrong with me? And like, this is like the first customer I've ever done that with. So uh, after that, he said that he had, you know, he couldn't see well. And I was like, oh 
god damn it, Ruby, what the hell is wrong with me? Oh, and then I apologized to him, and he was like, it's okay, man, it, it, it's understandable, or something like that. And then I, yeah, no, went back, made his hamburger, um, well, finished that up, and then things got, you know, more, much more calmer. My work is not supposed to be all uh, full of work and stress, but the, when one customer comes in to buy a pizza or a hamburger or something that I have to make food off, well, then... Uh, there's always, always one other coming right behind it to advance something else or s something similar. So, yeah, it's kind of like karma or something. I don't know, some real convenience. So, anyway, that was the work, and the rest of the day went really slow. Felt like it, I was there forever, like literally forever. Like, I just worked from, uh, uh, let's say now, about 9 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m., and after that, I had like six hours later to do whatever I want, or more than that. But depends on when I sleep. So uh, let's see now. What are, whatever. What else? I mean, <laughs> what else happened? Well, okay. So uh, it got to four p.m. and that's where my shift ended. My uh, uh, co colleagues came and they were supposed to take over. Um, then I was about to leave, but then more customer came and I had to help. Like I had to stay a little bit more to help. And uh, it one of them wanted a milkshake, and I was like, okay, sure, I'll go and make you a milkshake. So go to the milkshake mach machine, I put in the, uh, you know, the milkshake and all to, you know, blend it and all. But the blender doesn't work, I have no idea why it doesn't work. I just press it up and it's not working, why it's not working? And then I asked one of the colleagues to do it because they're much better, much more uh, experienced than me. And it en ends up with us, well, the machine didn't work, it's, it's broken, it's still broken today, I have no idea why. I did only use it once uh, yesterday, I, I don't remember when or... Yeah, actually, I kind of remember, but, uh, see, it worked well then, I did nothing wrong, I just, uh, put it in, blended, milkshake, it happened, but now it's broken, I have no idea why. So, anyway, it leads to, um, anyway, it just leads me to taking that customer, uh, we had to make the milkshake a different way, we ended up making good, and after that, I just went home, took the pizza, pizza I had to make, um, uh, for my boss, uh, to him, um, it was a whole, a uh, long way down, like, I ended 4pm, but I had to walk a whole lot down to, uh, the, the central of the city, and then, um, well, after that, I thought he was, oh, he was gonna wait for me there, but he was not there, he was much more further down, and then I had to go to here, to there, and after I finally got there, it was 5 PM. Oh my god, that was so tiresome. And then I get home where I sleep, and that's with my uncle and aunt. And they were having a little bit of fight, you could say. Like at home, I live with my um, well, uncle, aunt, and my little my little cousin and my uh, my two cousins. I mean, uh, one of my cousins is uh, well. I, I feel like I should be saying this, but he's like uh, uh, what's he called? Um, uh, multi-functional something something he can't operate well it's the, it's the only way I can describe it like he he um, what, damn, I had no idea what the uh, retarded that's the only word that's literally the only word I have he's literally retarded that's only sorry for sounding rude but that's the only word I, I can come up with to, say, to describe him anyway so because of that it's really difficult to watch over him because he always well, at one moment, he's like, completely silent, but the other, he's like, and I'm like, okay, my god, uh, I think he's crying, hey, uh, uncle, aunt, I think he's crying, and he's like, no, 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 he's just playing around, I mean, he's, he's playing? And he's like, oh, oh, and he claps his hand and like, knocks knocks on the floor, and I'm like, really stressed out, because I don't know what to do with him. Like, I've known this kid for about a year, and a year or two, and I know how he acts and all that, but still, I never get used to how, how he is, he kind of scares me all the time, like, yeah, if they're not around, then I'm screwed, and now you guys are, you guys are probably asking what, the, what does this have to do to, with the vlog, but I'm coming there. So anyway, we were having um, visitors on our way, my, let's see, it was my grandma, my mother, my... My brother, my um, uncle, another aunt, and some more people came. And so we had to prepare for about 10 people. And we had this big table. Um, I helped out. Um, again, I had not relaxed at all. And my feet were killing me. So I had to clean the living room. I had to clean the uh, kitchen where we are going to eat. And I had to take out the garbage. And when I came back, well... Uh, my my uncle is a um, 
is the owner of a little, also another fast food restaurant. My, okay, my brother and uncle both of a, own a fast food restaurant. And he, my uncle is really busy, he was trying to get the, to a meeting, but my aunt didn't want him to do it because he wanted uh, him to watch his son, which in my in my opinion is way more important, but he he was like, nah, you can handle it, okay, even Ruby is there to help. Okay, yeah, he didn't say Ruby, but I'm just saying Ruby because I don't want to say Ruby. And uh, I was like, yeah, sure, but even though he should, he should stay there to help. And then uh, my aunt says this warning to him. He said, if he's now back by exactly uh, 6, uh, 6 30 p.m., then she's leaving. She's literally leaving. We have made, I have cleaned up the uh, living room, the kitchen. I prepare uh, forks and uh, uh, plates and spoons and all that and glasses. And she was making rice with chicken soup and all that. And it was still not ready, but it was still cooking. And she threatened him with it, and I was like, she's kidding, she's not literally going to leave her own son and, like, leave me to make the food and watch him. And also, 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 my other cousin, who's a little girl that's not retarded, but still really annoying, with her two friends, which are also really, really annoying. And, well, time went, I tried to help make it, make the food fast, and hopefully she was kidding. But then we come, and she literally leaves, she leaves, and I was like... What are you doing? And she, well, she was, she just, wow, well, she just, she, okay, she basically, she, she left me. And I was like there for five, six minutes. I was like, okay, what the hell am I going to do? Because I'm not good at making food. Or it's kind of funny because I'm working at a food restaurant, but I'm not good at making food. And then, uh, well, uh, I sent a message to my uncle and it's kind of, like, kind of a small lie saying that my, the, his, my cousin, the one that is retarded, it's the only word I can use to describe, is uh, freaking out, crying a whole lot. He wasn't doing that. He was like really sad. But I knew if uh, time goes on, like 10 minutes later, he's going to do something and that's going to make me really, really <clears throat> stressed. And then uh, five, six minutes go later and then uh, my aunt comes back. She was uh, just kidding. She wasn't kidding, but she was just kind of kidding. Like she said she was going to leave. She didn't say how long she was going to leave, so he was, she was just gone for like a few minutes. And then when she came back, she, I was like yeah, really stressed out. I hadn't done anything, I just uh, moved, I, like, I was just moving this spoon around the rice a little bit to make it, I don't know, I don't know, just did something she, she did. And she was coming back, she was like, what's wrong, are you totally stressed out already? And I, I was like, oh my god, thank you, thank you for being out, I'm so glad you're here, please never go again, please never leave. And she was like, wow. And yeah. So that happens, my uncle comes back, they're having a huge fight, and I'm like, wow, 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 why were they ever married to begin with? Like, they're, they're, they're separate, they don't live together, but she was on, my aunt was on visit to him to, you know, bring the kids, because they're his kids as well, and, uh, well, yeah, and it kind of makes me wonder why she's even making food, for it. like, food and cleaning and all that, it's not even her own house, but yet she's doing it, so it's weird. So, yeah, that happens, and the rest of the day goes normal. My uncle and aunt comes, then my other uncle and aunt come by, my grandma, my my brother, the boss, and my mother, and, well, we have nice dinner, I eat, I'm really full, I eat a lot of coke, which, by the way, I'm going to do soon, because I'm really thirsty after all this, and then, uh, well, I go to sleep. I went to sleep, like, 8 p.m., and, uh, or went to bed 8 p.m., and then I was, like, on my phone for, like, two hours before I was, like, Okay, then to sleep, and that was actually the first time I ever had slept, uh, like, two hours before I usually sleep, and uh, I got two hours extra sleep today, and I was still really tired, what the hell, I'm so tired, not not right so much right now, but when I woke up, I was like, <sighs> that's usually how I wake up, so, yeah, I wake, yeah, so that's uh, where I got from where today. That's uh, been a whole a lot messed up too. Okay, so that's the end of this vlog. I'm not gonna do this a whole lot, but I felt like yesterday was so uh, so worth talking about that I had to make a video about it. So I don't know if this is gonna be a little animation video or not animation, but like a little p picture pop popping out here and there. Maybe just a black screen. I'm not sure. I'll at least keep a. Uh, okay, thumbnail, I guess, but uh, other than that, we'll see. 
So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys want to maybe hear more about this later. And uh, if you do, please uh, tell me down below. Because if you if you do like it, then I would consider making more of this. Because it's kind of fun. I'm just sitting back here in the storeroom. There's no one's here. Um, no, well, just chilling. I have to actually open up in 15 minutes now. It's um, 9.45 in one minute. And uh, after that, well, it's just back to the old things. So, well, let's see now. So, I'm actually going to po actually talk about something else too. But not talk about, but just say, mention something real quick. And it is really fast. So, on uh, Tuesday, like uh, the day after Monday, I know they to pronounce those, those two. Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday is Tuesday. I think it's, yeah, Tuesday. It's so easier in Norwegian. It's like way easier, but those two sound so the same. Anyway, on that day, that's coming a new episode of my Pokemon Sacred Gold and Store Silver with my friend Joe. Joe's P. Joe's, uh, Joe's PH Games. And uh, on that episode, well, there's a whole. That's a completely awesome thing that's gonna happen. And you guys should be excited for that because it's gonna be. Amazing! It's gonna it's gonna be completely completely unexpected and well thrilling, and you're gonna know why judging by the thumbnail. However, it's uh, since some of you might not want to wait so long, so uh, you might you guys might want to uh, uh, you know have a little spoiler. Well, I'm not gonna give spoilers away. However, I could give you a link, which was which is to. Uh, Joe's uh, Twitter account where he actually tweeted what happened and this was like three or two weeks ago so uh, well yeah if you guys want to know what happens you can go check him out follow him and then keep updated on uh, his little spoilers that he keeps posting out so yeah that I'll leave a link to the description and uh, hopefully you guys will check it out or not check it out I want you guys to be surprised when you see that what happens so without further ado, have a nice day everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and leave a like, comment down below if you want me to do this more, and uh, well, peace out guys.